Hello and welcome to the Cloud Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Yeah. Um, yeah. Eight <laughs> matches, huh? Yep. Five SmackDown, three Raw. Very strange. Very um, strange. Nothing has been announced for the pre-show. Um, but this I, is Wednesday night. It is right Wednesday, now. yes. That so. is correct. <laughs> um, my guess would be either a Cruiserweight title match or maybe Sasha and Bailey versus the Riot Squad again. Um, (laughs) because I don't think that they could put a SmackDown match on the pre-show and have more than, Mm -mm. so. the Two Raw matches? On the pre-show? Yeah. No, they're not going to, they only have one match. One? I don't want to pre-show. Is it? Um, I I guess SummerSlam was just a special mm two-hour one. Well, there's only so much you can talk on during two hours, so having three matches Plug the Super Show more. I guess. (laughs) No, but I'm saying during, like, a three-hour show. Oh, yeah. A uh, two-hour show, I should say. Yeah. Um, and the funny thing is, there's really no feud that's not being represented um, on the show already on Raw, with the exception of, I guess, Owens and Lashley. Yeah, which is weird, because they never did anything with Lashley and Elias, right? It just fizzled out and became nothing? Yes, yes. But I think that's because... Um, no, I got nothing. I have no idea why. Yeah, they just it just stopped. went nowhere. I, I guess this is, isn't gonna work. I guess it's because everyone like cheers for Elias, right? Because he interrupted during that number one contenders match with Lashley and Roman, right? Probably. Yeah, <laughs> but because he kept coming out on stage and got interrupted, and yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll start with the yeah, first it's... Hell in a Cell match. That's the thing. I mean, so many people left off the shows. It's true. But there's really no storylines because SmackDown's been uh, the Miz versus Daniel Bryan for mm-hmm. a few. Oh weeks yeah, now. yeah, that's been the main um, story, and everything else has kind of been thrown together without any real importance. It's true. Um, and Raw has been Braun and Roman, yeah. or the Shield versus the War Dogs. Yeah, because I, I mean the Universal Title. I mean it's a part of the feud but it's not it doesn't seem like the main focus no, well it's fine it, that, that doesn't really matter but it's true but is, after brock you would think they would want to make that more of a focus you know well they're afraid to push roman as a, as the champion <laughs> Christ. so that's kind of what uh, it is and then joe and aj isn't over yet so this is no. going to continue yeah so uh but yeah we'll start with uh randy orton versus jeff hardy inside hell in a cell yeah um, it really doesn't matter who wins. Just gonna try no and stakes. kill himself. That's yeah. all that. That's all we do know for sure. Yeah, he's gonna do something stupid. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, neither of these men need this. Mm-mm. Like, where do you go from here? What do you gain yeah, no by one, winning no one this benefits match? Benefits from winning. What do you face, Shinsuke? Are we gonna do uh, Randy Orton versus Shinsuke? I don't even think that's gonna happen. But... Oh, I know. <laughs> but yeah, that, like like you said, there's no motivation or anything. Mm-mm. Um. No. Uh, I, I mean, I'd like to see Jeff win. I was going to say... the ki- only... taking the ass beating the entire time during this feud. I was going to say the only reason why you would think Jeff is going to win is because this is his only Hell in a Cell match, probably. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And Randy Orton's so, already so. been in quite a few and won some of them. Mm-hmm. So. Just, I, these I, men, neither of them need wins. No, no. It's, it's kind of dumb, but I'm going to go with Jeff. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll. I'll hop on that wagon. All right. Yeah. All right. Up next, we have the Raw Tag Team Champion with Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre versus Dean Ambrose and uh, Seth Rollins. So it, it seems like the only reason you would put the titles on Dean and Seth is to have an eventual split. Right? You would think a heel turn or something like that? or with you the think, shield? Yeah. Or did you mean just Dean and Seth? Just Dean, just Dean turning on Seth or something like that. I guess. So, I think that's what they were trying to do last year. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, at least that's what we all expected them to do with the whole Until Jason Jordan thing. Dean got thing. hurt. Yeah. And they... Um, I don't. I don't really know. I because again, no IC title, no US title. I I think the whole reason why Dolphin Drew won the title to begin with was just to make this match Ma- happen. Right. Yeah. Exactly. For a reason. Right. And I feel obligated to have another tag mm-hmm. match. Um. No. I, I don't see Seth holding the two titles. So you're going to go with Dolphin I'm, Drew? Yeah, I'll go with Dolphin Drew. It makes the most sense, but at the same time, I wouldn't put him past them to have the Shield have all the titles oh, again. God. 
That'll put asses in the seats. Actually, it might. So I'm going to go with the Ian and Seth. The just, child? Yes. Just out of, like, you know, knowing how they are. They like to like, sometimes ride the bandwagon, I guess, depending on what the bandwagon is saying um, at the time. Well, I, I don't know. They're... Are either of them booked for anything at the Super Show down so it's, far? It's going to be a shield versus three on three. Match. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter who has what title. Dear Lord. Um, so it'll probably be the shield with all the titles or whatever. Yeah. Um, but again, they've booked the shield as the underdog throughout most of do. this. Yeah. Which makes it seem like there's no way that they're going to lose mm-hmm. at Hell in Cell. Yeah. So also we kind of figure that during the main event there'll be some kind of interference. Yeah. Even with McFoley being the referee, it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. So and Roman's gonna go through the top of the cell and yeah, the three of them together really doesn't do anything for me. The Shield, like I just I don't know. I like them individually. Yeah, that's what I've grown I, to. I don't really care about them being a team. Like because I it's under- like. All of a sudden, the focus on is on nothing but that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, because like, I have I have no eh. problem with it, but I no, but all I don't sudden, have the same level of, of excitement that everybody right, else does. Right? Yeah, because that's when I tuned out of wrestling. Which by looking at some of the cards that happened back then, it was a good thing I did. It's really funny if you just look through the paper yeah, and your schedules like, oh, and stuff. God, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It was like pretty I complain grim. about things now, and I can only imagine it was pretty grim back what then. Yeah, the, uh, what what I would have said then. Yeah. But, but it seems like that was a t- uh, popular period for people to get out of wrestling mm-hmm. and come back a in. A lot of people. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a lot better now. Mm-hmm. Now we kind of are spoiled a little bit, honestly. Well, I mean, you have an amazing roster, mm-hmm. and the match quality is much better than it was. Mm-hmm. It's just that The creative... booking doesn't make a whole yeah. lot of sense, and very rarely do storylines pan out in mm-hmm. a way that make like, right. s- like logical right. sense. It was just like all in, being booked the way... Every fan, you know, would pretty much go home happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't really care about that kind mm-hmm. of stuff anymore. No. They just try to do it in a way that makes them the most money. I think Deadspin posted an article recently that said, WWE doesn't care who you chant for. They're going to book the way they want to book. Yeah, which yeah, makes no sure. sense. <laughs> like, it's like the opposite well, of a good uh, business. So what happens structure. when somebody's at the top and there's nobody, nobody alongside them fighting. I guess that's true. They really don't have a... Braun is the only other top competitor. Well, I just meant as a company as a whole. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I mean, they can do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I guess that's true. Although, with the if whatever Cody and the gang have planned could come to some kind of... You never know. ...possible uh, <clears throat> insurrection Them of... doing a traveling tour of just showing up to every promotion all well, of not a, Well, not even that. Just have them, like put something together that actually does rival them because obviously the popula- popularity is there oh yeah, yeah they no just doubt. need the backing <clears throat> so yeah um all right so up next we have probably the the biggest match on the card when you think about it in terms of like story driven instead of just like oh, you have a title that i want yeah i guess that's that's fair um dana bryan and brie bella versus the miz and maurice um, obviously, quality-wise, it won't be the best match, but it is probably one of the most invested matches. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely on the card yeah. in terms of what um, they the fans put in, care about. Yeah, right, right. The, I guess the only other match really would be Becky Charlotte versus Charlotte, Becky. Um, so it, there's a lot of a lot of possible speculation. There really is. Miz is already up one, mm-hmm. and. The way this story works is as soon as Daniel Bryan wins, yeah. it's kind of over. over. You're right, because I, f- I feel like Miz and Maurice are going to win this one as well. Yeah, because... And then Daniel Bryan will win the number one contender spot at Showdown or is Super that, Show. Is that what their match is for? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the year at the Hell in a Cell tab. Singles determined on what... Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, so this way, Daniel Bryan will win. They'll split the feud for a little while, and then we come back to WrestleMania, and all of a sudden... I disagree. Them... I disagree wholeheartedly. I, that actually changes who I pick for this match. Well, you think Daniel Bryan's going to win? Then? I think Daniel Bryan and Debris will win. And then The, the Miz, Miz is going to win? Win at Super Showdown. 
cheat to win the WWE Championship. He's going to hold it for a while. And Daniel Bryan will win the Royal Rumble. Yes, that's going yeah, to happen. that's the other that's way. That's going to happen. I guess that's true. Yes, okay. I, I feel better now. Okay, because I was on the fence a little bit. That yeah. fact actually changes. Unless they turn AJ heel. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, Double turn. Samoa Joe, baby okay. face of SmackDown okay. Live. <laughs> Let's 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 pe- let's uh, play devil's advocate on Ooh. on my uh, my opinion just here. Mm-hmm. What makes more sense booking wise, having Daniel Bryan? Wait, what makes be- more sense, or what is WWE going? What, what's to What's a do? better story? This has nothing to do with what they. Oh no, the whole do. underdog thing with Daniel Bryan, absolutely. So if you have the Miz cheat to win the WWE Championship, mm-hmm. and then and him and AJ will have a good program together. Exactly, because yes. we don't have- give the fans what they want, so. Nah, th- this this is gonna happen. <laughs> this is going. It to makes happen. sense. The, everything that they do makes because they love the Miz so much. They do, and it's so easy for them to back him. And all this right, is all right, just, go, this, go on. This is just like the perfect storm, right. Of things to happen to finally get the Miz back in the main event picture. Yeah, that's true. Um, so Daniel Bryan is gonna be the underdog, mm. but having him win the Royal Rumble would just be perfect. And this is the best opportunity to put the title on The Miz, which is what I had kind of been saying for a right. while oh, that yeah, that yeah. would. Yeah, it makes sense. Have him win it at uh, yeah, cause Bri- Brian, Series or whatever. Brian and Daniel December can win this years. match for, it doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. And it's not really that big of a stretch of time between whenever this title match is going to happen. It'll probably be, when would it happen? What? The this title match. Title- there's no date. No. Uh, was, well, we don't even know what their plans for Survivor Series are yet. I, I would imagine they're gonna do the, the formula the last year was good. Roman SmackDown. It was it was good. Go head to head. They did have a good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a yeah. Good. Uh, we like got a good format. match out of Brock and AJ. <laughs> yeah. So I I I would imagine that they might keep it that match probably until the December pay per view. So yeah. That would make more sense yeah. to me, or they'll just have it on a random SmackDown after survivor series because mm-hmm. i think they want to put aj against roman probably it um, makes sense we don't need to see roman versus the miz again no uh um, they had a program what earlier this year right mm-hmm. yeah yeah because the miz sort of won the IC title yeah. from um so but yeah daniel bryan and uh what's uh brie win this match they're even now mm-hmm. uh the miz antagonizes daniel bryan more yeah, leading oops. up into the super showdown right um he has Maurice help him win the uh, the match at the Super Showdown, and that leads to what we had said. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it really nothing else makes any sense to me. No, um, because I, at first I was thinking that maybe uh, Daniel Bryan or the Miz and Maurice are going to win because of the fact that Daniel, Daniel Bryan's Bryan going win to win number. eventually. Yeah. But yeah, long term. See that that's that other thing though. Long term booking yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I, like I said, I think that All this right. is. I'll, I I'll, think I think they've had Daniel Bryan versus The Miz slated for next year's WrestleMania mm-hmm. f- as soon as he right and came back. Bryan will win the title probably at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. All right, I'll jump aboard this Ooh, you're journey. Taking... Okay, good. Yeah, that's fair. You've made compelling points. Yeah, I'm too lazy to argue. I really don't <laughs> think there's any good arguing points anyway. Nah, because I think either way kind of makes sense. So Miz and Maurice are going to end up winning, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> probably. But I like I like what I said. That's fair. All right. Let's talk about the SmackDown women's title match. Yep. The main story pretty much for SmackDown. We just said it's been the Miz and Daniel. No, Bryan I, all right. Show. The fans... Oh, the thing, thing that yes, yeah, the okay. fans really yeah. are behind, and WWE doesn't know how they're going to book this one. Uh, Charlotte defending it against Becky Lynch. Yep, screw finish. Call it right now. We ain't getting a uh, clean finish. Yeah, so no. I mean, you think you think Charlotte's going to retain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it makes the most sense. Absolutely, um, because this story is not even close to being done. Mm-mm. Uh, let's see, are they booked for a match on the I'm Super pretty show? sure they are, yeah. Yeah, they are. that last one. Um, but, I mean, this, that could change. It could. I think... Granted, I'm sure they've been really pushing the ticket sales, so I would assume that, you know, people in Australia already know kind of what the card's going to be. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like Becky's going to go into Evolution the Champion. Mm-hmm. Or Becky wins by DQ. 
No, well, I'm not interested in this match. Uh, I'm just saying I think she's going to go in. Yeah, to... I think Evolution would be the right place for her to win the title. It, it would make sense. I still feel like she's going to go into the pay-per-view as the champion. champion. Because I, I, I think that they probably want Charlotte to... Because they're really... I mean, unless you book Asuka versus Charlotte again, there's really no other big match that would make sense for this women's championship on smackdown no at evolution oh no this yeah. this match will happen at evolution. right 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 no but that's what i'm saying there's yeah. really no other choices mm. nobody's been built up and oscars needs to be rebuilt yeah so you're saying charlotte yeah charlotte's gonna win um i i think or charlotte's gonna retain i should yeah say. that's fine i i'm gonna actually agree i think that maybe uh becky will win at the super showdown yeah that think. makes sense i i feel like I don't think that WWE should give the fans what they want here. Kind of build it some more. Yeah, well, the uh, kind of a very quick turnover if they did. Right, absolutely. It's been like three weeks yeah. since yeah, SummerSlam. No, no, no. Maybe no, it's been a little longer than that. No. The four, was yeah, yeah, I guess it was four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so we got the New Day versus Rusev Day. I, I don't. I don't see the point in the New Day retaining, keeping the titles. Mm-hmm. Rusev Day is the, the only thing that keeps the New Day having better odds is the fact that the WWE just doesn't like pushing Rusev. That's true. That's that's a very fair point. Yeah. So that's literally the, the only, only thing keeping mm-hmm. the New Day having any right. kind of odds. Because normally yeah. speaking, you would take the most over person yeah. in the company and have him win a title. I wonder where this whole whole thing would have played out had <laughs> Eric Rowan not gotten hurt, or this was the plan all along. I most certainly was not. Nah. There's no way that they wanted the New Day to beat the Bludgeon yeah. Brothers. Still should have been the bar on the Bludgeon Brothers. It would have made that probably would have been what happened next. Yeah, that would be my guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Rusev Day. Yeah, it's, new tag team champions. It's definitely the best option. We'll get, we'll we'll get a happy everything, and all of a sudden it's gonna rain on their parade. I guess so, but we'll see. It will not be a very joyous Rusev right. Day. So the next three matches are pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Funny the enough. SummerSlam match, well, we're going to talk about the WWE title match next. AJ Styles defending against Samoa Joe. Mm-hmm. Uh, that match ended in a DQ, right? It Finish did. at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. This, this one probably won't. No, no, no. AJ's going to definitively put down Joe. <laughs> yeah, you would think so. You would think so, but there's going to be that rematch. But I guess they don't necessarily need to have a reason to have a rematch Mm -mm. because things just happened. Roman just kept getting title shots for no reason. (sighs) AJ's going to win. Yeah, AJ's going to win. Joe will never see that title. (laughs) It's not going to happen. It's true. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good people think Joe is. They just cannot book him that way. Although that picture in the storybook with him holding the title did look cool. With Wendy. Yep. That was weird, but it, <laughs> it did look fantastic. cool. It was fantastic. But yeah, I just I don't see any any way they're taking that title off of AJ until mm. he loses to The Miz. Right. That's my thought. It makes sense. Because you're not going to have Daniel Bryan beat Samoa Joe because yeah. that, you, you could. Do you really have any other strong heels besides The Miz? Besides and Joe, you mean? Yeah, yeah Randy yeah. Orton is now a strong heel. Yeah, I guess that's true because that um, could be another program they could do as well. Shinsuke Nakamura is a potential strong heel. Yeah, well, we already saw that, and that was not very good. AJ and Nakamura. No, I'm just, just oh yeah, just yeah, yeah throwing yeah. it out yeah, there. Yeah, fair enough. Um, there, you could put Rusev back in that position. Yeah, but I, that won't be for. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, again, yeah. it's possible. I guess that's fair. Viable right. options right. for the Major strong point. heel. Yes. So. But are they really going to push Randy Orton into the main event picture again? Why not? They did it last year. Yeah, that's true. He won the title at WrestleMania. That's true. So. Only to lose it to gender. Mm-hmm. Because of sexual harassment allegations. That's not why. <laughs> that's why. Anyway. Uh, now we have. <laughs> Don't hinder the gender. Yep. Now we have Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's oh, Championship. Make it stop. Please. Yeah, there's no Just way Ronda loses, stop. Um, even though they're kind of teasing her being hurt. So what are we going to get? A run-in by Alicia Fox, a run-in by Give me a James. circus. You're going to have those two interfere. You're going to have the Bellas no come way to the Jose aid. No with his conga line. Yep. 
But yeah, the Bellas are going to come to the aid of them. Um, and then probably we'll after... Six men... T- oh, no, that's... Hap- oh, no, it's, it's the, not. It's, it's the, the Riot, Riot squad. squad. That's right. No, but what's going to happen Ugh. is that the Bellas are going to congratulate her, and then that's when Nikki uh, sets up Ronda for the rack attack after the match. Now I'm confused. What is that? Is that because you don't like the idea of that happening? Because or? there's a good possibility that's what's going to happen. That's why it I said it. sounds terrible. I said it it's, because that's why that I know that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's fair. My word is gold. <laughs> I'm pretty good with these. Now, you, you, you must admit, my sure. predictions might sound outlandish when, when I make them. It's not that they sound outlandish. It's just like, oh, crap. That's probably what they're going to do, and that sounds terrible. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty I'm pretty on on point with these predictions. So right. hope you go 0 and 8. That's fine. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter at all. Cuz I'm not always predicting what I want. So if they if I'm wrong about something that I don't want, then right. I'm, I win. But aren't you predicting what's going to happen rather than what you want? Yeah. I'm saying if I'm wrong, uh, that's a good thing. I guess that's true. Yeah. So you're going to go with Ronda too, right? Cuz you're not an idiot. Oh, you're not an Alexa. idiot, right? Yeah. You're not an idiot, right? Oh, I am. I should write triple R. I like that one. That was funny. I made myself <sighs> proud with that one. Anyway. I swear if they start calling her that. <laughs> It'd be funny. <laughs> It'd be terrible. The game 2.0. Yeah. Anyway. Surprised he's not going to weasel himself into this card. Yeah. You guys need some more star power. He could come out and talk some more about The Undertaker. <laughs> but The Undertaker's going to be out raw. The next night. That's true. So... Because he could call out The Undertaker and he's like, I'm cutting you off before you even show up. Just disappointed there's not going to be any dick druids. druids. I think you got spoiled. Druids, yeah. Anyway. Um, druids is druids, right? It's yeah. druids yeah, yeah, with yeah. a D at the end. Yeah, that's right. So uh, now we have our main event. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman for the Universal title inside Hell in a Cell with a special guest referee of Mick Foley. Okay. It's not not really that exciting. I mean, they're going to have a good match. They will. Because the two of them always put on a good match. Be a good match. There's going to be a lot of, like, hard-hitting spots, and Roman's going to look like he's dead, and then somehow he's going to come back. I think we're going to have run-ins by both teams, meaning Mick Ziggles and The Shield. Um, Mick Foley will ultimately not really have any impact on the match at all Sako and start going ham on everybody well there's no way in hell he hits it on or does it on braun but he might do it on Dolph. yeah i think that he is the most likely to receive the sock um he's a receiver is what you're saying yeah exactly hey um Um, you know now that i think more about this there's a better chance that dean and Dolph are gonna win those i mean dean and drew dean and drew Jesus you'll Christ. get there eventually there's only Seth so many and dean choices are going to win those tag titles you mean like i predicted yeah i think that's no, i'm just thinking about it because it's just gonna be lowell roman wins mm-hmm. um that's how the wwe the Shield's works gonna come out for a photo shoot and all they're gonna be wearing is the titles mm-hmm. death seth will have two mm-hmm. and dean will have one and roman will have one make a special bikini to be bikini with his titles That'd be frightening. It'd be funny, but it would be frightening. And I guess Seth would be the best because he's got the slimmest frame. So. Yeah. I'm still going to stick with Mick Ziggles, though. Okay. Now let's talk about the match we're actually talking about. I already told you. Roman wins. Yeah. Roman I mean, Reigns. granted, it is like WWE to put the title on him and then pull it off him. because you know. I would like to point out if they weren't together as the shield, then there would be a better possibility that, that the Braun title wins. could come off of him. Yes. This is the third. Uh, I think it's the third. No, it's probably the second. Second in a row time mm. that the male Money in the Bank winner fails to cash in their contract because Corbin did it last year, mm-hmm. and this year Braun's going to do it. It's kind of funny. Because they're like, oh, you have like, uh, it was like, I think it was like 17 out of 18 or 17 yeah, yeah, yeah. out of 19. It was a pretty successfully. good. And then yeah. two in a row don't do it, which is kind of funny. And since odds Braun. Are too high. Let's cut it down. Yeah. Well, since Braun did it, it kind of it was like a foregone conclusion that he was just going to beat the crap out of somebody and right. yeah. cash in. Yeah. But there were so many possibilities. They absolutely. 
I have no problem with the way they did things mm-hmm. because obviously they wanted to get the shield back together. They're, they should have just had him cash in. That's how the, the shield should have just come back. Yeah, because he needed And then him. you could have just continued the program. Mm-hmm. And this way, this way, all three of yeah. them have the how, titles how, going. How stupid does it sound? Oh, I'm going to cash in just to have a Hell in a Cell match for He's you. He's not the first one to do no, it. No, I know, but I mean, it, it would have made so much more sense yeah. to do it that way. Mm-hmm. I agree. He should have done it at the right. Raw that we were right. at. Yeah, absolutely. But have him down for it, and all of a sudden, music plays. Mm-hmm. Dean and Seth. Out. Yeah, that's fine. And Done. Mm-hmm. But they didn't do that. Nope. Uh, this would have made. And the funny thing is, the predictions probably wouldn't have changed because no. Roman would have ended up winning at this. The Shield were together. Roman's winning. Mm-hmm. That's pretty so. much it. So yeah, that's. Uh, we're gonna ride the big dog for a while. Mm-hmm. It's true. For a while. Um. Anyway, so like you said, no IC title defense, no U.S. title defense, Mm -mm. a potential cruiserweight title defense. Nothing's been announced. I mean, I still think Buddy Murphy's going to pick that title up at the Super Showdown. It's possible. It would make sense. Hometown hero, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But he could have a match that he loses. It's true, but I haven't watched 205 Live. Me neither. That's why I can't speak to this. No idea. Because it's not on Wikipedia, and Wikipedia knows everything. It's even true. Even though anybody can edit it. But also, It also wasn't on CBS Sports' uh, speculative card. There you go. I only looked at two references, but it's still good enough. It's good enough for me. I spelled Samoan wrong. You did? Yeah, that's right. I was fixing it for you. That's fine. All right, so that was our Hell in a Cell preview and predictions video. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.